Hi everyone and welcome along. Today I'm going to show you how to take a plain and simple writing set and turn it into a gorgeous set of personalised stationery just with some really simple patterns and designs because I don't know about you but I've got a few thank you letters to write post Christmas. So grab your paints and let's get started. So I um, have in front of me some writing paper and an envelope, neither of which are official watercolour paper. They are um, about half the thickness of usual watercolour paper. This is about 140 GSM. Um, so what I want to do is to create just a really simple little motif design um, that just elevates this fairly plain writing stationery um, and is also uh, really quick and simple to do so that you can replicate it lots of times. That's the most important thing isn't it? It's a bit like when we were painting Christmas cards uh, in the last few months. My focus was all on making sure they were things that could be painted fairly easily if you were going to be one of those amazing people who painted every single one of your Christmas cards. So um, I'm going to start with the envelope um, and I just think the best thing to do, I mean I'll give you the, the details of the type of paper in the episode notes, um, I'll double check what it is and things, but just go and experiment really. Uh, but the key is we're going to be using watercolour in a fairly sort of dry state um, and so what I'm going to do is I've got a little two tenths brush, I've got my size two, I've got my rigger brush and what I'm going to do is create a little sort of flower motif down here so let's go. So I've got my red and I've just been sort of putting little petals into a central point there. I'm now going to take some orange, cadmium orange, and do the same. So I'm sort of really using the belly of the brush, squishing it down. And then I'll just do a little sort of extra little bit there. So you can see that's gone on really nicely. It doesn't blend in quite the same seamless way as watercolour paper, but I'm really happy with that. And now I'm going to take some French ultramarine blue that I've got here. Lovely contrast to the red and orange. I've also got my cobalt blue deep as well, which is really nice. Oh, well, maybe I'll... Yeah, I really like these kinds of blues when it comes to teaming them up with reds. And I'm going to just place in... Uh, a little... blue flower like that. Now, we're going to use our rigger brush to get a bit of, oh, we could use a bit of hooker's green as I've got that there. Yeah, hooker's green is just that more vibrant zesty sap green. And just carefully I'm going to paint in some simple little stems and then with my two tenths brush maybe a leaf or two. <laughs> I'm going to leave that like that. Now that looks really pretty already but I can't help but want to do just a little bit more so I'm going to take the rigger brush and I am going to draw a line. How good is the rigger brush by the way? Did you see how smoothly that went? Gosh. I'm going to take the rigger brush and paint a lovely simple line on there. Okay so we need that to dry so I'm going to put that to one side and we'll have a look at our writing paper. Um, so I'm going to do a little motif at the top similar to what we did on the envelope. And again, like the paper can handle 
um, something that's not too strong. You can see it's sort of sinking in. It's uh, feeling a little bit sort of like, oh my goodness, what are you doing to me? I'm not watercolour paper, but it can handle it. And I can sort of adapt the design a tiny bit, might sort of pop in a leaf. Got a big water globule on my brush. And then I'm going to take the rigor brush once again with this lovely cadmium red and I'm going to paint in a border. Ooh, kind of a wobbly one but I quite like that. So I just think this is a really nice way of creating what looks like really quite fancy um, personalised stationery when all you're doing is just doing a really nice simple design uh, and imagine how happy that is going to make someone when it arrives in the post. And this kind of slightly naive, wobbly style of painting is something that um, we see a lot of these days. It's very fashionable. Um, and actually, uh, it does take some skill painting in this sort of seemingly simplistic way. But as you can see, um, just the basic techniques that we've done many times, painting little flowers in to our uh, all our designs and things, you just simplify it down and you're left with a really beautiful little charming set of your very own stationery. So I hope you make someone's day, write a, a letter, a thank you letter if you're saying thank you for presents. Um, and yeah, what a lovely thing to receive through the post.